at 130, we got Ball State, who's 1-2. and two. Trailing to James Madison, who's 3-0. and oh. James Madison favored by 21 on ESPN+. Plus. Caden Samanza for the Cardinal has gone 74-104, thrown for 658 yards, 7 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Braden Sloan has had 45 carries for 210 yards and 2 touchdowns. And Tanner Koziol has had 20 catches for 211 yards and 2 touchdowns. Alonzo Barnett the third for the Dukes has gone 46-74, thrown for 742 yards, 7 touchdowns, 1 interception. He also leads the team on the ground with 31 carries for 203 yards and 2 touchdowns. And Omarion Dollison has had 5 catches for 205 yards and 2 touchdowns. Ball State is 1-0 against James Madison all time. They won in 1997-24-6 at home. So, um, this is an interesting game simply because James Madison is playing in it. And it, from my point of view, I think if I had to pick a team that I think had the best shot at making the playoffs, it would be James Madison, right? Because you look at... You look at easiness of schedule versus quality of win. What are your chances of going undefeated versus what's your highest quality win? Right now, there's five undefeated group of five teams, and I will say there's six teams really in the contention for this playoff spot, right? Um, Army and Navy both have to play Notre Dame. You assume that they probably should lose that game. And if they lose that game, there's three teams left, right? UNLV just lost their starting quarterback to play in the Mountain West. I don't know the chances of them staying undefeated down the stretch. And then you look so down to two, really. I think two teams have a chance at finishing undefeated at the end of the year in the group of five. And that is James Madison and Liberty. James Madison has beaten UNC. Liberty will not have a win of that resume on their schedule. They just won't have that. Uh, not to mention they had their upstate game canceled, so even less of a chance to build a resume there. That would at least like give a common opponent, right? Um, because uh, James Madison's gonna have to play App State at some point. So it just, if I had to pick a team that I think is going to be that playoff team, it's James Madison, which is crazy. Because like a week ago, I was saying how the Sun Belt's in possibly the worst spot to send a playoff team. But James Madison got a big win against UNC. The MAC completely fell apart last week. Memphis fell apart. And San Jose State fell apart against Washington State, leaving not really that many options left to send to the playoffs. Realistically speaking, UNLV, Boise State, and Liberty is your main competition for that playoff spot. And if you're a Liberty fan, you're hoping James Madison loses this game. But I don't think they will. Ball State's not a very good football team. It's the reason why James Madison's favored by 21. Even if they're a little sluggish off that big win against UNC, I expect them to win handily. Give me James Madison to win and cover at home.